Good morning, folks. Announcement coming at the end of the news. Starting today with the Jade Rabbit, China's lunar rover had malfunctioned two weeks ago, and if it's ever going to reawaken, it will come at any moment now. Best of luck, guys. Top article today is their latest and best shots of the liquid water potential on Mars season to season. Very convincing. Folks, everyone on Earth who doesn't watch this channel is today learning that a special pressure system is set up to drive a line of moisture from the Central Pacific all the way to the U.S. coastline. Those who do watch this channel saw it developing over a two-day span as the north-central lows broke, one came east, matched with an equatorial high-pressure system to reinforce in the middle and drive that water vapor hard and fast. That's why you watch the pressure. Come in a bit closer, we see the convergence still alive atop the Gulf states. More ice, more snow, more sleet on the way for those areas. Going to remain quiet south of the border today. It's going back to Europe where the low is back in form, with one convergence line touching at least seven nations in the last 12 hours. Gotta be a local weather check day for you guys. Not so much down under. I realize parts of this land are in record-breaking drought, but right now the potential for isolated severity at the former cyclone is our top threat here. Lastly, think about that precipitable water comparison. There is no major low sucking it over South America. It's the Atlantic Drive cut by the Andes. It's the main reason why it's so darn wet on one side and dry on top. Strongest southern lows do appear to be giving a break there. Quickly jumping back to the disputed coronal mass ejection. Cactus now has both eruptions posted. First one delineated going left and the same time frame, but this one identified the ejecta on the other side. FYI, NASA and NOAA still don't have that correct data on their endless spirals. Solar wind showing the fastest particles of the coronal hole stream weren't that fast. They did arrive last night, were short-lived, along with the instability they produced. Solar flaring may be about to charge back. I know we just got one M flare, but it's from this brand new style in the center. Yes, the incoming limb is worthy of analysis, but I do believe you are watching a monster be born. He may not fire X flares until the backside or second time around facing Earth, but this is not your traditional sunspot spreader. Chances are, it'll fire at least one more M flare today. I'm 50-50 on the incoming spots. Coronal holes abounding, looking dark there. Now for the announcement. Climate number four will be posted to the homepage at suspiciousobservers.org as soon as possible today. It is free like the remainder of the climate series, but due to one intended inference, I will not leave it up to Google to take down or not. It will only be on the website. Eyes open. No fear at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.